Well, today I'll be giving some of my favorite anime characters a signature Pokemon. What exactly is a signature Pokemon? In my personal definition, it's just a Pokemon that represents the trainer in some way, or is kind of the ace of the team. For example, Cynthia's Garchomp. By the way, let's go ahead and get started on pairing up these characters with their Pokemon, Ceres and Morpeka. Ceres is from the anime Helsing, which, you know, is quite good and quite bloody. Fitting that, Ceres is a good and pure character until she gets a little salty and things get a little crazy. <laughs> Let's just say you're not going to want to be in the room with her when she's angry. Morpeko, in my opinion, is kind of similar, though of course not as bloody. <laughs> Maybe. <coughs> but it does change when it's hungry, so hangry. And I don't know, Sarah just kind of deserves a little cute little buddy to cuddle. She's been through a lot. And Meganium. And Sakura's from Naruto, by the way. Uh, you probably knew that, but it will. So you can kind of tell this is kind of obvious from the flower motif. Also, Meganium's kind of associated with healing. And Sakura's a medical ninja, so you kind of pair up. Chosen for this video is from a recent favorite of mine, Yor from Spy X Family. I adore this show, by the way, so it was fun drawing your, of course, but for her signature, I've chosen Roserade because, you know, she's called the Thorn Princess, it's kind of her code name, whatever. Roserade's a rose, it kind of fits, right? Hope you enjoyed the video and comment your own like ideas for signature Pokemon for characters in either of these, sh any of these shows or any other shows that you want to bring up. They don't have to be anime. Uh, just hope y'all enjoyed the video. God bless.